Hey guys, uh, dad woke me up a little early today and you know immediately you know when I wake up and it's because of dad I think crap I'm late for basketball practice because that's what <laughs> it used to always be but unfortunately it wasn't that and it's that we got heifers running everywhere. I don't know how because yesterday morning or not yeah morning well basically all night last night my heifers were running out everywhere and so we don't know how they're getting out we ended up after we got them back in yesterday we put um electric fence around the rest of that that pasture so uh we maybe today we'll figure it out because you know if they got out through like a similar way the electric fence should be tore down and we should be able to figure out how and where they got out of but anyway we got heifers running around in a nice bowl and so we're gonna go try to figure out where they're at because well yesterday we got when we got the call they just said they saw poo and stuff on the road on a highway and so we were driving all over thankfully one of our neighbors saw them we do think we know a better location today we're gonna try to push them back in and then we just really we need to figure out how they're getting out because like I said they're getting out next to a highway and it's kind of a liability we don't want someone to get hurt and we don't want to lose one of these heifers either you got anything to add this fine morning? Crap. Crap is right. Are those are those the boots he soaked yesterday? No. Oh. Let's go wrangle up these heifers again. You should have been there yesterday. Back to that basketball thing. There's so many times like I just totally forget to put my alarm clock on. And then I'd wake up and like I have basketball practice in like 20 minutes. My dad and my mom are standing in there like, Cole, don't you have basketball practice? Not only that, I had to drive and I had to get ready and it's just like, that was a mess. One time in particular, my basketball practice was like 25, like a 25 minute drive away at like 6.30 in the morning. And it's like six and the roads were super icy and my coach said well if you're late for practice you got to run suicides which is just like you got to run to basically just it's a bunch of running and i didn't want to do that so i sped really fast on the ice and i made it that's all i gotta say about that so right here in the middle of the highway you can see a bunch of poo splatter and we're a mile north of the pasture and that's from yesterday and when we ended up finding them yesterday they were straight west of the pasture basically so they came a mile north and then headed back but that's just a freaky thing to see who went in the highway you know black cattle in the middle of the road in the middle of the night that's just a recipe for a disaster so anyway we kept driving those trees that group of trees is where they're supposed to be at and they came this way and the poop was down there and then they came back this was yesterday or two days ago and then they went that way and here's some uh, here's dad's bean field you can see they got big tracks in there so they headed down yesterday that way and then hung a left and chilled in our neighbor's alfalfa but this time apparently they didn't go as far north they just went straight west and they're over maybe in those trees Thank goodness dad's almost here because I've been trying to figure out how to open this padlock for the last like minute, but still I can't figure it out. I need an adult. Four six. What? Are you doing? what? Telling people the combination. I I'll bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reminding you the I know what it is. Okay. Oh wow. Did they teach you that in school? Because they didn't teach me that. Yeah. Back then they taught you stuff you could actually use. Oh. going to be a whole thing. Well, you think so. There's a lot of traffic this morning. Yeah. So yesterday when we did it, it was a nice Sunday morning. Not too much going on. But now it's Monday and people are going to work. And we're How I spent my father's day. Putting them in yesterday. Yeah, I wish I... I wish we had the camera because we were putting electric around the other half that we didn't have it on 
and it was really funny because dad had to walk through some water and it went over his muck boots he had water up to here and it was just sloshing around for some really reason funny, yeah. for some reason i thought it was hilarious we got 12 heifers and one of dad's brand new nice bowls that he was done using for the year running around and so that's kind of a lot of money hopefully they're all together and yesterday they got tired because we had to chase them three miles back because that's how far away they ran it seems like it's only gonna be about two miles if they're up at this farm like we think they are I thought I saw something way down there but it's probably just the fact that I'm still sleeping I'm daydreaming I didn't get any breakfast and it also just might have been a, a bug or something hey you're not supposed to be in there yeah they're on the south side of this long tree belt south side uh, uh, the, okay so they're in the west tree belt that runs north to south but they're on the south side I just don't get what prompted them to leave the pasture they were in they got nice grass not only that right next to that pasture we got alfalfa you can't get any better than fresh growing alfalfa well they're all here hey you pipe down now I'm mad at you but there is four splices right in a row on all those wires right there so it'd be really easy to just to unwrap that wire and then come back once we get them home and uh, we can tighten those back up I'm gonna try to take this apart and hopefully they don't run back into the trees that's working way better than I thought it would so they're used to the Dakota Gold pellets, and I got a bucket here. Maybe if I pick it up, they might think I got pellets in it. That didn't work. Oh, they're boiling out of there. One, two, three, four, five. About half of them came through. help coming down the road time to wrangle up some cattle. looks like I owe my neighbor not only two cases of beer but some mineral because they're chowing down on it I guess they can't eat their own mineral in their own pen This is the farmer formation here. You got a four wheeler on the left. You got a side by side in the middle pushing. You got another four wheeler on the right. Keep them just going straight. going three miles an hour it'll only take about 10 more minutes hey I found out how they're getting out all right so this piece is part of the pasture that we're renting but the fence was so bad right here and it's just a really small part dad and I didn't fix it but over in the corner over here, don't do it again. Right there, they smash through, and then so once they get in there, they can just hop right on the road real easy. And then it looks like they broke it there too. Huh. Yeah, so the good news is we figured out why they're getting out. I don't know how Dad and I didn't see this yesterday. Well, we just imagined it was the barbed wire fence that's like 
this short over there. We just need to wire this stuff up and I think we will be okay, which is awesome. It's a relief that they're not just hopping over the electric fence and the barbed wire. It's actually because there's a chunk that's just broke out. Right on. I didn't know I was gonna donate blood this morning. Skeeters? Yeah, I probably gave a quart to the mosquitoes. Well, all I can say to you is your bull is taking my heifers on midnight rendezvous. I'll take the bull home. Nah, I kind of need him. All right, so who took who where? <laughs> he outsmarted me on that one. Good morning. Just gotta grab this, head back, and wire it up. Well, that's really weird. So they broke through there, and then they came around, stepped over that junk, and then push this one out. So we got, looks like at least two places to fix, just wire up. And then we're gonna keep that gate open, or closed, not open. And so if they do happen to get in here, they still, everything will be fixed up and it'll be hard for them to get out that way. Oh, that looks nasty. I don't wanna get rained on, so I'm gonna get going. I was like in there. I don't know if that was ever even closed. Oh, snaky. You can see with how matted down it is and all the manure that they spent a lot of time here and then they figured out I don't know what was going on some sort of ruckus maybe a bull was getting a little excited if you know what I mean and they ended up pushing through there and then two days in a row they left in the dark hours of the night hopefully it won't happen again keeping that shut everything's wired back up and there's definitely a storm running in so I'm going to run home, help dad do the chores, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope, I hope if you're new here, you really liked it and you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you, if you don't mind. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. That's plugged.